Hey everyone, on this video I want to do some cute stamping with you guys and in celebration of the new Bridgerton season that came out I'm using this nail polish from Brazilian brand Hiske they did a collection with uh, Bridgerton and yeah, let's get into it I'm starting with my base coat I'm showing a close-up here this is a strengthening base coat that has like nylon fibers throughout and I would say it's the best strengthening one I've used. Uh, I play volleyball and that's the only base coat I use that when I play, my nails don't get chipped in the edges. So definitely recommend. Starting off with a polish here. This color is called, the name is in Portuguese, but translating is Scandal in Whistledown. So again, very Bridgerton themed. It's kind of a dusty blue, I would say in Portuguese we call it like petroleum blue I love the coverage it definitely covers in one coat especially because we're gonna come in with some stamping on top of it doesn't have to be like super perfect coverage so I'm doing one coat coming in with top coat and then I'm gonna do the stamping this is a video I want to do why I do the top coat before the stamping because I had scenarios where I didn't and the colors kind of bled together, the colors from the stamping and the polish. The stamping plate I'm using is this one from CADS. It has these really cute little animals on it. They're just super cute. And it picks up super well, this plate. I was really impressed, even though it has some detailing on it, the lines aren't as fine and it picks up great. I did try it before using the white stamping polish. I tried one from What's Up Nails, like a very bright red metallic one they have, because I thought it was going to be very complimentary with this kind of weird blue color. Sadly, I was wrong. I'm going to show you guys here. This is the color Hotter Than Red by What's Up Nails. Looks great, but in combination with the blue, you can't really see anything. I could swear these two colors were gonna go together well, they did not. One thing I did do after this video was I created some swatches on these swatch sticks here for all my stamping polishes. This was my first attempt that didn't work out because when I put the top coat on it, it became opaque, as you can see, it kind of messed with the transparency. But I did do some swatches that remained transparent. Basically what I did was using a top coat that's water-based. It's the same one I used to finish up the stamping. So I'll do a video on it with all the swatches and all the stamping colors I have, but just in case you were wondering and want to do it for yourself, I think that's a really cool idea because then if you want to see if a color is going to work with the polish you have, you can just like preview it instead of risking it like I did with the red and then I had to remove it, do it, the nails all over again. So that kind of saves you some time. So yeah, let's get into some stamping here and I hope you guys like the song choice. I thought it was very fitting for the, for the team here. To finish things off, I'm using Apipila's Smudge Free Top Coat, which is supposed to be used after you stamp to protect it from, obviously, smudging. Uh, if you go in directly with the top coat, you might get away with it, but I find it a bit harder, so I like to use this product. It has helped me a lot since I stamp a lot as well. Just FYI, you don't need it, I just like it, and I think it works well. And I'm also going to show you in a minute what it looks like with just a smudge free top coat versus with a smudge free and the glossy top coat. I don't like to leave just a smudge free one. I think it doesn't look as glossy, but I'll show you in a minute so you guys can see for yourselves.
And here's a comparison with and without the final glossy top coat. You can see with just the Apipila one, it doesn't look as shiny and as glossy. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it, this quick video with just some cute stamping. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.